we decided to call in KO. Um, uh, him and his team have been on this rant about Scandal World. And we've never had a chance actually to talk about Scandal World. So I thought, let's talk about Scandal World. There's already two huge singles that have been released uh, under Scandal World. So KO, welcome. Thank you for having me, Muto. Kehova, you call yourself. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my new alias. Uh, yeah, tell us about Scandal World. How did that come about? How did you decide to start now pushing this movement, Scandal World? Cool. So um, the name itself of the label and the movement and the clothing brand is inspired, is inspired by my debut album, Scandal Republic. Sure. Um, so just obviously after Cash Time and just the learnings from that movement, um, you know, I took a break from, you know, the whole posse thing and, you know, uh, squad deep and whatnot. Yeah. So years later, and also just like after finding my feet again, it just made sense. Cause sometimes, you know, I just feel like I come from a group environment, yeah. um, tear gas For and sure. then cash time. Yeah. And then suddenly now I'm just like an island. You know, I mean, I'm posting pictures on, on the gram and it's Solo. just me all by myself. It just <laughs> felt weird, but you know, yeah. I mean, I can enjoy and be selfish, enjoy the success that comes with that. But, you know, um, I still, ha I'm very passionate about opening doors for other people. So mm. that's why now we are doing what we are doing myself and Tulu, my business partner. And uh, we have new artists that we have on the roster. We have the clothing brand and uh, we're trying to build a little, you know, empire of our own you yeah. know so hopefully in the very near future we might probably look like you know the deaf gem of, South, of africa by the way so yeah. that's what we chase it. how daunting is the task especially when you say that you had to learn from previous engagements and previous journey i suppose when it comes mm -hmm. to music and the business side of things yeah. how daunting is it right now that you are at the forefront and somewhat responsible for other people that you call in because if you invite someone over to your house yeah. you then almost just assume a certain responsibility yeah. for some of the things that happen around that house where you've invited them. Yeah. I mean, it is daunting, but um, what we did this time around, just fixing the mishaps and the loopholes mm. uh, from, previous, uh, from previous engagement, um, everything's formalized. You know, we are running this like a corporate, Good. you know, there's paperwork, you know, we're not playing around. Thank goodness for you that. Know what I mean? we know. Um, and then there's people who are literally designated to run the day to day of the label. I don't have to sit there and babysit nobody. So I can continue being KO and doing what I do and come in and just, you know, uh, handle the creative and the uh, NR aspect of things. But I don't have to run the label myself. Mm. You know, I like, um, I, I saw a quote today. Um, Shimza, I think, mm. posted, said something about, I'm, in the, I'm not in the business of creating, um, of running businesses, I'm in the, create, in, in the business of creating businesses mm. and then uh, uh, designating, you know, people who are passionate to run those entities. So I'm trying to also almost kind of like get into yeah. the same, um, you know, wavelength in terms of my thinking. But um, yeah, we, we, I think we're gonna have a good run, you know. Before we go to Asamba and Kehova, um, I wanted to find out, is there a certain sound that you are pushing within the label? Because, you know, um, when you listen to some sounds, and I'm not talking about the big labels, so the, the, the labels that are still upcoming, even if they are solid, they are maybe not a Universal or a Sony, yeah, right? Um, sometimes you find like they push a certain sound, yeah. they push a certain agenda when it comes to music and how that sound. Are you doing something like that? Is there a specific sound that we should be looking out for when it comes to Scandal World? Well, the name of the label is kind of work, yeah. you know, and uh, it was founded on the back of um, a subgenre, which is kind of, that's what, you know, my first album mm -hmm. was, Karakara and yeah. all those things. So, I mean, uh, and rightfully so, I sort of kind of swayed away from that, you know, just uh, during my transitional period. So now, you know, with thanks to my piano and him, you know, <laughs> and the inspiration that came with that, because what um, allowed us to create something like Skanda back in the day, yeah. it was the success of Guaito, right? At that time, you know, and it was an era. Exactly, yeah. so it inspired, it was easy for us to take whatever that we could pull from that and make a karakara, for instance. Mm. So now you have an ama piano um, who I think if you are a savvy individual as a creative right now, it makes no sense for you not to. You can't shy away from it. You know what I mean? To yeah. 
Devil, take, I'm not saying you need to make an Amma piano yeah. record, but you know, the, the, the aesthetics Boru. that come with that, yeah. you know, you can take that and use it in your own yeah. um, genius way. So that's what people need to look out for, more like unashamedly skanda sounding mm. records. But ignore him at your own apparel, hey, uh, that is K.O. Uh, K.Hova, really, really sounding fresh. And I think what I love about this is that you didn't shy away too much from KO. So yes, you borrowed, yeah. but there's still that quite a feel to it. There's still yeah. you to it, you know. It doesn't change who you are and who we know as an artist. So that's really yeah. incredible. Tell us about k -Hover. Yeah, this is the record that to me pretty much is, if there's a, a Mount Rushmore mm. in African hip hop, yeah. you know, this is one that like literally sec secures my spot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, uh, over the years, some people, just know they've comp compartmentalized my success. Some mm. people just know Karakara, okay, that mm. moment. Some people know the super duper moment. Mm. Some people just know the Jagas moment. Yeah. So I want people to look all that, look at all that, and as one thing, and be like, wow. Yeah. All these years, because this is my fifteenth year. We came in two thousand and six. Sure. So I want people to just to celebrate the entire journey, and you know, being a now a senior in 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 the game, I I, I still wanna show you know fellow young people that um yes they say hip-hop is a young man sport and whatnot you know <laughs> but you know you have guys like jay-z who are still kicking ass on yeah. the highest level sure. you know so i look up to people like that and one of the reasons why i call the song k-hover by the way is because it's also inspired by i mean jay-z calls himself j-hover oh, yeah you know what i mean so to me uh, as someone that who is my mentor, whether he, he knows it or doesn't, I don't, I don't care. Mm. Um, I watch him closely. Um, the things that he has done within the music space and also outside. You know, yeah. I have as, as, aspirations for me to do other things outside of the music business and also build myself as a mogul, not only locally but you know in the continent yeah. as well. So that's basically me just saying I'm throwing my hat in the ring. Watch what I do. I mean, I'm no musician, but I do see you pulling in people. Mr. X has got a song, Asambe, it's the song we played before, okay, Hova. How did that happen? How did that, because I mean, I know that Mr. X rolls with my E and all of yeah, that, and yeah. it could have been, you know, one huge combination to this moment, yeah. but how did it happen that you then solidified the relationship to be a professional one, and you did a song, um, yeah, Asambe, and released it under Skanda World? Yeah, um, the reason why my E is also still part of what we're doing now, uh, and he's always been involved in everything sure. that I do uh, since day one is because um, for some reason, whether he's aware of it or not, you know, he ends up being like our uh, scout of some sort, mm. you know, and he just brings people to the circle. And, you know, once they're around us, we realize, oh, shucks, this mm. guy is actually crucial. Only something, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's how we um, came across uh, Mr. X. That's how we also came, um, bumped into just Biggie, who's uh -huh. the vocal vocalist, yeah. uh, the first vocalist on the on the on the label as well. So he's my E is pretty, is pretty much the catalyst, mm -hmm. you know, in some of these things, and uh, we're grateful for him. Yeah, and Asambe, let's talk a bit more about Asambe. How did that happen? How did you choose to put this? Because you know, it's always so difficult, um, at least for me anyway to try and streamline certain things that you want to do, especially when it comes to music, you yeah. know. You have six, seven people yeah. that are all great musicians. Yeah. Now you want to release a song. Yeah. I One. Know, right? Yeah. <laughs> and the seven of y'all. Yeah. How do you narrow it down to say, okay, Asambe is going to be me. Yeah. X will produce. This one yeah. will do that. Casper yeah. will jump onto it. How, yeah. how did that come about? Um, I, a lot of it just came about in the studio. Um, and also just like the vision that I had was, I wanted it to be, I mean, it's a, it's a DJ uh, record, so I want him to get as much uh, pull from different individuals as much as possible, because having me, having the youngins, and having Casper on there, you know, he's pulling from all different sides. I mean, he's not vocally performing, Hundreds. you know, so, but he gets to still be amongst, you know, all these different And he's dancing now. Yeah, you're such a ever missed the X way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so when... I called, for instance, when I called, so I told the youngins, I mean, because the song structure is very weird. Yeah. The, 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 the chorus is like 16 bars. You yeah. know, it's very long. Yeah. And the verses are like, each guy is doing like eight bars, eight <laughs> bars, eight bars. You know, so it's a very unique structure, but it sonically just works. It makes it works. so much sense. So when I called Casper, for instance, I was like, bro, I know, um, you know, you 
when you do your features you probably do like uh you know at least, at least a 16 it's a normal verse i want you to give me eight, eight. you know be punchy be quick be you know yeah. it, it it just it, it was really weird i mean like we just shot the video last weekend yeah. when we were on set he was like dude i didn't know what to do so i just took the <laughs> the little instruction that you sent me because i said i want you to give me something that almost feels like that verse you did on Gutu, you know, uh -huh. that monumental entrance, you know, mm. but I just want a short version of 100%. it, you know, so, and he gave us the magic that he gave us and, uh, you know, uh, it worked really well. So I'm just happy that the, the vision came together the way that it did and yeah. the youngins also, Loki and Roy, uh, held their own as well. Who's next? Next week, uh, we are dropping the Loki single mm -hmm. and the week after we are dropping Just Beggy the week after that it's Roy and then that's gonna be in June now and then Ma'i is up uh, he's gonna be the last one to close the first half of the year fantastic listen we can't wait to see just how Skanda world evolves erupts because it, it will do great things you, you are you're on a good thing so keep at it um, and your Whole search, man. Your your attires are giving me. Uh, they you. are really, now really we'll, giving we'll, me vibes. Also, sure, we got the winter range coming out at the end of this month. Okay, good. And uh, this is nice, I know, right? Yeah, it's gorgeous. But, but we're not even putting this out. Ah, we, we, see, we have something even better. Is it? No, I love it. I love to see it. Scandal World KO giving us a bit more of what he's doing with Scandal World. Look out for all those drops that are happening from next week. Follow him on socials, and you'll be able to keep up with what's happening. Let's go to the clip now.